I'm Steve Price from the Department of Transportation, and I think it's a, a very good question about authority and responsibility. We have about 10 feet on this side to about 3 feet on this side is where our, our legal authority begins and ends. Um, as far as what we can bring to the table, we can't act as a lead agency in this endeavor. And I think that uh, Mr. Curry's comments, I think, were, were right in line with that, with that, with that statement. But we are certainly willing to participate, as we've said uh, before, in any endeavor that would help alleviate the flooding uh, and keep Highway 1 open. And so we're actually just waiting for a lead agency to come and contact us, and then we'll be willing to participate to the extent that we can within our legal jurisdictional authority. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate all the efforts that the Caltrans crews have, have done to date to, to keep the road safe there. Thank you very much. Um, uh, uh, <coughs> The question came up is to ask what the define for the definition would be for lead uh, responsibility. Um, it's a very complicated answer uh, from our perspective, but there's uh, CEQA, uh, California Environmental Quality Act lead agency status. There's also financial lead agency status. And the Department of Transportation and something like this would be under CEQA a responsible agency who would be able to comment on, on anything that happens adjacent or requires us to be a permit approval for. Um, we would not be the ones that would be securing the money or leading any of the property agreements that would be signed, but we would certainly be signatory to any kind of property agreements that the county or Oceano Community Services District would want to become a lead in a, in a project. We could become a signature to contribute, like I said, what our, what our uh, fair share would be within the confines of, of Highway 1. And again, there's, there's, there's a lot of policy and bureaucratic stuff, and I'm going to try and not get into that at all, because it's going to make people start watering in the eyes and get to sleep. <laughs> but the, the bottom line is the department is allowed by law to participate financially to that benefit of the state highway facility. In round numbers, we do things like we count up the traffic delay when the highway is flooded, and we can put a number to that. And that number would be what our financial responsibility could be. We could also add into that things like the fact that we have expended resources to maintain the silt and set it if it comes down and stacks in our right of way. If we could do something to then alleviate that silt stacking in our right of way, we could participate to that event. So we get to include things like maintenance costs. We get to include things